morning everyone so today i am on placement it's monday a fresh new week um just getting to, well just walking to the bus stop now it's 10 to 6 in the morning i should get there for half past six and yeah have my breakfast have my tea and hopefully it's gonna be an amazing day i've got high hopes come on it's got to be a good day but i'll let you all know later how it goes and yeah tomorrow i'm off oh my god i'm so excited for tomorrow off that is what's going to get me through today's shift so yeah have a great day everyone so i'm finally finished my shift and i don't even know how to describe today it's just been manic it's been so busy today mainly because we were a little bit short-staffed and everyone was just rushed off their feet, not one person sat down, literally everyone was just, it was chaos, it was manic today. Um, I'm so glad I'm home. I have a little bit of a reflection. So during my shift today, it was, I can't even remember what time it was, but at some point today, early on in the day, we had a patient who went into a critical situation, let's just say that, and she was muse scoring if you don't know what muse score is the muse chart is what we record the observations on like the blood pressure pulse all of that stuff and it tells you if there's an initial problem that you need to monitor so this muse chart if there's let's just say if they're just scoring a one or a two it's okay you just monitor it if they're scoring a four you have to go on to observations every 30 minutes until that score reduces this lady was a 12 this lady was off the chart. She was so critically unwell and, oh God. And then, so then we had the whole critical care team come in. Um, they were looking at her and I was just there look, watching them do all these things and they're putting fluids up and doing all these different things and assessing the patient and taking bloods. And I was just there like, wow, I feel really helpless. Like, this is the first time I've ever felt helpless because usually I I know what to do and I know what I should be doing and I'm really good with personal care and all of this but for the first time in my life I felt so helpless and I've got no idea how to act or how to feel about that because I've, it's not a feeling that I've ever felt before but you know when someone's just so poorly and you want to help but you can't because everyone's doing everything they can for that person but I mean, I did my best, I did what I could, I continued with the observations, I was doing the observations on it every 30 minutes, um, and luckily we did get her down, 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 and she was just scoring a one, so then we got her fine again, she was up, she was talking, she was having a laugh with us, she perked up a little bit, and that was really nice to see, and her family came, it was really nice, and then i didn't leave until 10 to 8 so my finish time should be half past seven i didn't get out of that place till 10 to 8 because it was just manic and if things like that happen you don't just suddenly clock off you have to stay there until that patient's okay or till someone can relieve you from the shift so i'm not going anywhere i'm staying with that patient either way um because i was really worried about her and i personally wanted to stay so i just stayed i made sure she's okay but by the time i left at 10 to 8 um, she was scoring a six again and I was just like, oh my god, what am I going to do? But then the night staff come, they took over and then obviously I don't know what's going to happen because I'm off tomorrow, I'm off tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen to her. I'm worrying sick about this poor patient, I just, oh, I'm just going to worry about her. I'm going to worry, I'm not going to sleep tonight, I'm going to worry about that patient all night. And I don't, it's just horrible. This is the one part that I don't like about the job is the worry after you leave work. You don't leave work because you're worrying and you don't sleep and you don't eat because you're worrying and I don't know. But I am worried about her. I did the best I could. I mean, I was on the ball with that patient. I was trying to push the fluids. I was trying to get to eat. I was, I managed to get all of her observations stable and they were good until the last minute before I was going to leave and then they went up again and oh but yeah but I did everything I could for that patient um hopefully she's going to be okay I'm back on shift on Wednesday I'm praying to god she's going to be okay but I can't do anything now anyway I'm home I need to relax I need to try and sleep but I just wanted to update you it has been a manic day the other patients in the bay that I was looking after just they had to just take 
a back seat because I was so prioritised with this one lady because she was critical care. So the rest of the patients, I did monitor them, but not as, as much as this patient, obviously, because you have to prioritise your patient in order. So I, don't, I, don't, I can't really say much else other than I'm worrying about this patient. That's pretty much what my day involved. So it was really interesting to see, though, um, the good thing that came out of this is it was really interesting to see the critical team working together so you had various doctors critical care nurses all there was like five or six people at one point they're all working and they're all bouncing off each other should we do this should we do this what could be this has this happened does this happen and then the sister was there as well so the sister was like okay so she she hasn't been eating she hasn't drank she hasn't do, so then they were querying dehydration and um they pumped the fluids into her and then that didn't work and then they were querying something else so they did something else and it was just it was really nice to see the team working together and try different things and coming together it was just a nice collaboration I, th I felt like they handled that really really well and I kept it like going in and I'm like okay can I do anything what can I do tell me what to do because I feel like a spare part right now just tell me what to do and I'll do it and uh, yeah there's not much that I could have done as a student nurse in that sort of situation and I think that was my problem and why I felt so helpless because there was all these people around me that the knowledge was just amazing and I felt just like oh my god overwhelmed by it all but the good thing that came out of that I got to see that situation and I got to see how the team working went on in that situation like how they collaborated together for the best care for that patient so that was really nice to see that side of it definitely going to write a reflection on this and put it into my book because it, it needs to be done I think especially with how I'm feeling and how sort of sad I feel and helpless I feel. It needs a reflection just to offload and, I mean, I'm doing it now, I'm reflecting now, I suppose. I need to get it down in writing, offload, and then I can move on from the situation. But fingers crossed she's okay. I'll let you all know on Wednesday. And yeah, I'm gonna try and sleep now. So good night, everyone. Sorry guys, I didn't get a chance to vlog when I was at home. I was absolutely knackered. I fell asleep and didn't vlog, so the following morning but I just wanted to update you what happened on my shift and what happened with my patient I was really obviously as you saw I was really worried about this patient in particular when I arrived on shift because I hadn't had any sleep because I was worrying about her um I got to my shift at half past six and straight away I went to find out what's been going on with this patient whilst I've been off because I was just panicking about it and unfortunately she did pass away on my day off but she was at an age where she had a really good life she had a really full good life and that's all I can say about that. I don't want to go into too much detail because of confidentiality but she did unfortunately pass away. So rest in peace my little patient. Um, I hope she's in a lovely place now. So the rest of the shift it was really busy. We had so much to do. Also we've got quite a few patients that have got dementia on this ward so it's trying to manage those people as well. They need the extra time and care with them because a couple of them were quite confused and they were trying to get out of bed and they couldn't get out of bed so it was trying to manage that situation as well as your other patients so it was non-stop to be honest yesterday <laughs> but we managed and it was an all right shift so we did it it was all right and then the good news is on the monday when i had all of that with the patient my mentor wasn't actually in that day and she said to me yesterday Claire, Little Bird tells me you did really well on Monday. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I got really embarrassed. I'm getting embarrassed thinking about it. I did get, I go really shy and embarrassed when people say, like, give me good feedback. Don't know why. I don't even know what it is. Is it embarrassment or shyness or I don't know. But I went red and I was like, oh God. But anyway, she said, well done, that every all the nurses there had fed back to her and told her what an amazing... Um, student nurse had been and how I got so involved and I was up front with everybody instead of at the back hiding um, so she she, re she she was really proud of me and it was nice it was nice to, for someone to say do you know what you actually really did a good job because I really needed that because after that shift on Monday I felt helpless I think I said this in my, in my last video I just I felt helpless I felt like I wasn't doing enough even though I was doing things, I, I didn't feel like I was doing enough because the whole team had was there and they were on it and they were doing things. And sometimes you just need to think, do you know what, actually, this is beyond my expertise. This is something that I can't physically do. And that other team has to come in and they have to take over. And we, we have to respect and understand that. So we can't physically do everything ourselves. So I think that's what I took away from that is 
okay, I did feel helpless, but actually that's okay because I couldn't physically do anything because I wasn't the expert and the other team were the expert. So I did the bits that I could do and I got in there and I helped out and I was doing the observations on the patient constantly and constantly monitoring her and encouraging her fluids and all of that jazz and reporting to the doctors and the nurse everything that I found abnormal. If she started deteriorating, I was straight back to the doctor. So I did, I did my best, but at the same time, I did have that feeling of helplessness. So for my mentor to come to me and say, do you know what? I've heard you actually did amazing and I'm going to report this back. So it, it just it made me feel nice. It was a nice feeling. Um, and this is why I do it, is because knowing that my care has made an impact on a patient and not just the patient, but my colleagues around me, it's just, it's amazing. It was just a really nice feeling, even though I did get embarrassed and shy. Um, I really needed that because I was so demotivated after Monday and feeling utter rubbish. I'll stop now because I'm going to get emotional and we don't want that again because <laughs> I have enough of being a, You get so... Guys, if you're not a student nurse yet, if you haven't done placements or anything yet, be prepared. It's an emotional roller coaster. Your emotions are going to be up and down. You're going to cry at absolutely most things when you get home and you reflect about it. Just to warn you, but... I think it's a good thing that we have those emotions and that we can reflect and look back on those things and build and improve ourselves in the future. So it's a good thing. It's really bright. I keep trying to avoid this light. It's really bright in this room. So anyway, so yeah, so yesterday's shift went really well. It was busy, it was manic, but it was actually a good shift and the feedback I had was amazing. And oh, I had my midway interview as well. So for us, I don't know if this is like this for other universities, we have different points we have to meet with our mentor to have like a little mini interview and see how you're getting on, see how you can improve, those sort of things. So I had my midway interview, we have one at the start, the initial interview, midway and then your final interview which is the sign off interview which we all dread slash look forward to. <laughs> So yesterday I had my midway interview and it went really well. I got some amazing feedback. Like I said, I got some amazing feedback. She literally said she's got no concerns, nothing that I need to get out there and improve on. That's it for now. I shall, I've got today off. I plan to do nothing. I'm going to meet up with a friend today. I say nothing, but I'm meeting up with a friend, but I haven't got work or placement or anything. I'm going to relax. I'm going to go and meet my friend. And then tomorrow I'm back on placement for my last shift. And then I've got the weekend off. And I've picked up bank shifts, but then I'm off Monday, Tuesday, and I'm keeping Monday, Tuesday completely free, completely off to do absolutely nothing with, and it's going to be bliss. I really need it. So, yeah, I'll see you all on Friday. Hi, everyone. So, I'm here. I have my porridge. I'm just waiting to start now. I've got my tea. Hopefully, it's going to be a good day, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. Another day, another dollar, but I don't get paid. <laughs> so, I am back home. I've had a dinner, so I made some stir fry. I've had a wash and I've got my jumper on because it's freezing. Like, who turned down the temperature? It's absolutely freezing. But anyway, yes, it's about half past nine now. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm going to go to sleep now. But just to update you, placement went really, really well today. And to be honest, I haven't really got anything to report today. It's just been a pretty, I don't want to jinx it, a relaxed day all of our patients were great we had a, a couple of discharges we had a couple of admissions and everyone was great um i've got no problem at all today it's been quite nice and actually something i do need to tell you do you know what happened today so my mentor and one of the doctors bought us all pizza we had pizza i know <laughs> in all of my placements i've ever had i've never known the doctors and nurses to team together and put money together to buy the staff pizza it's just it's blown my mind and i think it's amazing that they've done that and it proper made my day and then i finished and i'm home and here i am so that's it uh, i haven't really got much else to say i've put some lavender on my pillow because i haven't been sleeping lately which isn't good because i'm the best sleeper in the world and lately i haven't been sleeping so i need to sort that out <laughs> so i've got some lavender on my pillow so hopefully i'll get a good night's sleep so yeah so that's it from me have an absolutely amazing sunday have a great week ahead of you and i shall see you all next week mm -hmm.